This week on Daily Architecture News. Dressed in a fit out influenced by filmmaker Wes Anderson's celebrated style, the Budapest Cafe in Carlton, a student dense suburb of Melbourne, follows the popularity of its predecessor in Chengdu, China. Brought to life by local Australian design studio Biazol, led by practice principal Jean Pierre Biazol, the interior of the 94 square metre cafe is imaginative and evocative showcasing offbeat design elements punctuated by compelling blocks of colour. Growing into its richer palette and bolder design response, the Melbourne Outpost is a stylish, more confident bolt hole than its older sibling, offering style-savvy clientele a relaxed dining experience amid a camera-ready atmosphere. Attracted to the conservation movement at the northern end of Alexandria in Sydney, Architect William Smart of Smart Design Studio selected the precinct as the home of the practice's new headquarters. Called Stokes 14, the purpose-designed office includes all the workings you'd expect of a bustling studio. A materials library, workshop and ample meeting spaces, there's a canteen and relaxed breakout zones too. But above the lower level workspace, a live-work residence runs the full length of the site, created by four self-supporting brick catenary vaults that are offset from each other to let in natural light. In forming the catenary shape, no structural steel was required to hold up the roof. Rather, a structural mould was devised, allowing the load of the brick to be evenly distributed toward the ground. Not since the brand's founding in 1946 has Farrell and Ball invited an external designer to curate a range of paint colours. Some 75 years in the making, it wasn't just any outsider who was the one to break the drought. The British Paint House has collaborated with famed American tastemaker Kelly Wurstler to introduce the California Collection, a refreshing palette of eight hues that capture the surf, sand and sun-kissed essence of North America's West Coast. The eight colours in the palette are available in four sheen levels, offering endless combinations for creating an interior scheme with Kelly's seal of approval. Standing as a glimmer of hope that global travel will resume in the near future, construction has begun on the new Red Sea International Airport in Saudi Arabia. Designed by Foster & Partners, the facility is situated on the country's west coast and joins the larger tourism-focused Red Sea project. Set to appear like an oasis in the desert, the design of the airport was influenced by the mesmerising natural colours and textures of its surrounds and will be defined by a series of five pod-like structures that are arranged radially around a central terminal. The project is expected to be completed next year. You can catch up on all of these stories and more online now at dailyarchitecturenews.com.